January or the beginning of every year is a time where we are very motivated, we map out plans, we take self-reflections on the things we want to change, on you know the things we want to leave behind the previous year. But we are half past this very year and most of us we've lost track of the things we initially wanted to do. But don't worry bestie because you are one step ahead because you clicked on this very video. By the time you are done with this video and you actually implement everything I mentioned in this video, you are going to achieve tremendous results by or before the end of this day so if you're excited like i am give this video a thumbs up and without anything further let us jump right into it one tip the number one thing we are going to discuss because of how important this is is financial responsibility and accountability most of us make money to spend the problem most of the times the problem is not that you earn little the problem is that you have little or zero managing skills you have little or zero managing skills and this will lead you to keep up with the repetitive cycle of getting money spending and guess what this is going to do it is going to keep you locked down in poverty so if you want to break free you want something better you want to actually implement this life changing habits the first thing you need to do you need to check on is your finances how financial accountable are you and how financial responsible are you so to help you i'm going to give you one two and three things that will help you to become more financially accountable and responsible the number one thing that will help you become more financially accountable and responsible is to create a budget i want you to start by tracking your income and expenses then create a budget for your saving and your expenses track everything that you spend track know how much that goes in and out of your account some of us we spend 5k here 10k here 20k here by the end of the day you're screaming whoa what happened to my money since you happen to your money okay we lose track we don't even know what we don't know our left from our right with what we are doing with our money so i want you to start by creating a budget me something that i've started recently is to always make sure that i know how much i spend at the end of every year at the end of every year i know how much i have spent this will help you to curtail or avoid unnecessary expenses the number two thing is to save yes they save your coins you don't need to start with so much money you can save out of the little that you earn you can save even if it's 10 percent or five percent of the you know money you make every month or weekly depending on how you earn your money you need to save for emergencies you need to save you know for your future let me chip this in a lot of us make money or we have already we are already in debt before we even have money for example you borrow money oh please give me money i'm expecting this money by the end of this week once i have it i'm going to pay you back and then the person lends you the money you borrow money from everywhere at the end of the day you find out that you are in debt before you finish paying all these debts you have nothing you have little or nothing to even save or invest in so please avoid unnecessary debts if you want to become more financially responsible and accountable Two thing in this video is to get off your comfort zone. Listen, we are mostly in repetitive cycles that subconsciously or consciously brings us comfort. I know you might be thinking, why would I want to intentionally make myself uncomfortable? It's very important that you chip in one or two things that will make you a little bit uncomfortable probably in your day-to-day -day activities. This will send a signal to your brain that not everything is supposed to make you comfortable most of us we are so comfortable and if you are very honest with yourself you will know that for you to grow you have to sometimes come out of your comfort zone most of the things that will take you to a higher level they are not comfortable you need to break off that comfort zone it can be waking up early it can you can start by even taking a cold shower every single day and my I chip in that cold showers is actually very good for your skin, but don't worry, that will be a whole new topic for another video, okay? But the point is, please do not always be in a position whereby if anything brings you little discomfort, you run off. Growth and comfort don't usually go hand in hand. Number three thing is prayer. You might not be expecting this one, but trust me, prayer is a powerful tool for personal growth and spiritual development. 
Prayer will help you connect to a higher power and provide you comfort in times of difficulties. You are hustling, you're tussling, you're putting in efforts, you are doing all these things to be successful. I want you to always make out time and map out time that I know how important and how powerful prayer is in your everyday hustling or be it your relationship, your finances, your career. Please always have time to chip in prayer as a backup that will help you with whatever endeavors you are making or whatever you're trying to be more successful in life. Is this number four or number five? I think it's number four. Anyways, the next on the list is positive thinking. I have talked about thinking positively at length in one of my recent videos that I'm going to be linking up here. So please be sure to check it out. But let me chip in something little about positive thinking. Positive thinking will make you look at things and life in general with a more optimistic outlook, which can eventually lead to better outcomes. Okay, you always want to see the good in things. You always want to feed the positivity in you. You always want to feed the good thoughts. Please reject and refuse any negative thinking it can stop you it can hold you down from your potentials like i said check out this video if um you want to know more extensively about positive thinking next thing is time management in these recent times we spend most of our hours most of our days scrolling and scrolling and scrolling through instagram and having so much information that most of the times we don't even need okay so please manage your time when they said money is time they were not lying actually money is time so you want to put in your time into things that will help you grow spiritually academically you know career wise business wise whatever that you are doing for yourself you want to put in your time into this please scratch out you know unnecessary social media information limit your time on tiktok i'm also talking to myself yes limit your time on tiktok limit your time on instagram and go out and do something useful with your time you don't want to sit in your bed all day scrolling and scrolling and scrolling through instagram next on the list is to set realistic goals and stay focused most of us we don't even have goals be truthful to yourself what is what what's what goal do you have at this point what is your number one goal i want you to self-reflect what what is your top list goal at this point you don't most of us don't you just live life as you see it you just go by if you see food you eat whatever that you know happens happens you just live life like that casually if you want to grow i want you to make sure that you are setting goals probably let's say for an example you want to become healthier or you want to become fit or you want to lose weight all these things are goals okay it doesn't mean that you have to set goals of becoming a billionaire in three months this is unrealistic you can probably if or let's maybe if you're doing something illegal but if you're making money legitly i don't think i have not known any business that will make you a billionaire in three months if you have please comment in the comment section because i'm too very much interested so setting a goal or um of becoming a billionaire in three months is not realistic so i want you to set realistic goals it can be losing weight it can be you know being more financially stable whatever the case might be make sure you are setting goals you can have day-to-day -day goals you can have week-to-week -week goals monthly goals yearly goals just make sure you are setting something for yourself to achieve every single time as much possible don't set and achieve and stay relaxed set goals achieve go better go higher next is discipline and consistency mm -hmm. most of us are not disciplined you have a shop you have a business you wake up anytime you go to your business at any time you just do whatever you you casually you just don't have any discipline whatsoever if you want to grow discipline is very very important and paramount that it is something you practice every single time probably let's say you want to lose weight as i have always said you want to be fit it is discipline that will keep you away from you know foods motivation can only last for you know a little while motivation will last for a little while but discipline will keep you consistent discipline will keep you saying no i don't hang around with this type of people no i don't drink or i don't eat this type of things i'm trying to be fit discipline will keep you going to the gym every day consistency is very important if you also want to succeed in whatever area 
using a YouTube channel for an example, if you want to ex succeed here on YouTube, you need to be consistent. Okay, so consistency is very important. Consistency with whatever you're trying to achieve, you can apply this in different areas and spheres of your life. Lastly, for this video is ask for help when overwhelmed. Most of us, we have shitty friend groups. All you guys do is to gossip and, you know, make fun of other people. Your friends are contributing absolutely nothing to you. You guys just, just make fun of people. I want you to surround with people that are there and ready to help you when you are overwhelmed, when you need help. Yes, this life, you can't do life by yourself. So always seek out for help if you need one. Take a break when you need one. One. I hope this video was in any way helpful to you and you enjoyed this video. If you did, then you are going to enjoy more of my videos. Please scroll through my description or my comment section to check out more videos from this channel. And also, you don't ever want to miss any more videos from this channel. So please make sure you are subscribed and you turn on that tiny little notification bar so you don't miss out further of my videos. Thank you for watching up to this point. Please support me by liking this video and... Bye for now. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.